Rajo ni poku jikubali. Kama as Kenyans we make trash music, play to your trash music. Jita, eh, ni yetu. Jita fika point, aida kwa trash. Wanna get? Jita fika point, like, kama ingo maya, tume uona, mkono wake ubwana. Na kumuka the first time nilisikia, chini, chini, chini. The first time nilisikia ungoma, nilicheka. Nilicheka, niko like, kuni nani? Hali nani? Eh, nilisikia kwa wedding mahali ya usha guko. Nashanga, hali nani? Alafu, kwenda kwa... Sana. But but I'm um, oh there's there's a Kike, keep it Kenyan. Uh, they do exclusively Kenyan content type of shoes. Uh, so I've, I've had the privilege of working with them. I think four times, three times, three three times I think, which is also dope, really dope. Uh, who else? Jamuri Bado, Nimpani Tribe. Isos Tajipal. Wanjua ko? Watengi no kwa approach na kuzi. To pay link. Atu mia link. Eba, nataka kata lo, nataka kuna umeudunga. Kama vile buwana radio video, kama hiyo, nataka kuna kitu 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 kama hiyo. Ok, sawa. Niamini, niamini tu. Ni hard sana. Especially with music, ni hard sana. Because the people who are genuine about it, they are very timid na kuinvest. Like, wanataka kuinvest kwa kitu enye. Kuna se two kinds of people. Kuna se wenye wanona, kama mi, most of the people I've been fortunate to work with, wanona 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 potential. Hapu kuna se wanona numbers. Uh, numbers ni poor, but... It's either or. It's either, I feel it's either or. You never go wrong with numbers and also listening. I feel numbers tricky kidogo. Unless ni generic, like unless ni natural. Like, seek to me. Because mina feel numbers in you. Because kama bila mkwambia isa alive, mkwambia from 5 to 15 to 17 to 18. Yeah. Eh, eh. To the point where ikifika mia, na jawa se mia ni wase wako nyuma yangu. Liwe liwale, unona. Eh, na na shukuru by the inyo wate. For the love na support na ni there. So, um, yeah, I think. Because unona sa uki summarize in Kenya. Uh, ukiangalia the average of isa alive. Kama average each show, you gonna get 20 people from each town. Only 60 people. Only 60 people when you niko sure. Niko sure the next is alive. Washa baiti. Kuna wanyi adi washa anza kutuma pesa. Ili ad. <laughs> Wani ki announce to you, wanatuma. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, of course, I want it to be bigger and better. Involve bigger acts, bigger musicians. You know, and yo. Yende, yende, yende. But can I don't get away on you? see the animal in Uliza. Uliza. Uta sorta. I love a point Uta sorta. Nikam Jibu, of which he took too, but thinking about it, I think that's the truth. Jibu, honestly, if you a point where life is not going to be happy. Now, maybe what else? My own say, I'm doing a jig and a sema, own say, I'm a pity, I'm a isha, Maybe. <laughs> But genuinely, like Nico, uh, I find that I'm very content with very little. Oh, Mr. Kwa billionaire. He can come, sir. Who sees him? But sees the mati namka every day at five could try Kwa billionaire. Because uh, unfortunately, that day didn't open it up. I was at a cooler, I love what I love to be But happiness, young, was sick to any. Na feel yondo kitu siyezi compromise on. And I feel yondo really ni motivate kuchukua music as a cost. Na kuchagua music as a career. Because in as much as kuna yota imenya uta kwa na do, uh, it, ama hita hizo returns wazita onekana. As long as ina kumake happy, yoni enough motivation. Wana get? Jona ita ni mbaya ufaya kitu enye upendi na haina pesa. <laughs> Uh, auna motive ama unafaa kwa kingine pia kitu kwa na pesa but haupendi uh, ni very easy to drop ukipata alternative it's very easy to drop it so yeah me na priority yangu kwa life ni kwa tu happy napenda tu vibes napenda tu love napenda tu kufurahi yani unataka <laughs> kwa <laughs> Nizo sema ni blend ya passion na hard work. Because the passion inside of me, was kuna wasa wamekulia. Kuna wasi wengi nimefanya gigs za bure. Na eh, God are blessed. Exposure. Eh, exposure. <laughs> Nimekula exposure mingi ama millionaire kwa exposure. 
na no, na millions of exposure uh, kwa tunasema passion and hard work na sasa wazote tatu passion hard work na biashara in that order julian the car passion and then sasa nikagundua that i have to be consistent with working hard if i want to ultimately fix up point here i'm getting money off of this because art is something that is misused to be honest especially music yani unaona all these cuz when i've gotten to get also can lose mbona unjai participate crazy competitions na ina nya nini kwani ko insecure when you know masonga go itapenya so like eh but it's najua ukweli uko mwisho eh si mimi ndo nitakuwa nime grow hiyo company unaona najua vile kuna ndanga unaona so na and you can see that of us angalia Kenya angalia hata majuu is it the voice man in our finalists where are they it's very hard to put a finalist and endelea na career ya music you get but it has served the ratings a show show me kwa na awesome ratings wase wame watch wame get do from ads you know so the, the company the biashara side of it eh hey, umsani huko tu uko like eh hey, manzi wase wengi wananijua niko na followers wengi nini 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 but to put out song eh hey, man any but this is after that oh no what do you know about the business of music when are you a million followers <laughs> that technology equal pesa oh no so i feel like going through your process is important mm-hmm. go through your process is important uh, i mentioned i sell my music and i feel like i'm very fortunate to be able to do that cuz kabla na radio the audio the hd quality audio na go for channel watu wana download you kutoka youtube <laughs> HD quality audio inatoka for 60 bob. Una get na litengi za 160 copies, 150 copies. Unaona? And I'm Yes, sasa yo ni marketing. Yo yes, sasa ni kuna vile na strategize there. Bado sijaanza sijaanza marketing. Already watu wamekuwa kibai, but sijaanza kupigia marketing yo. Ni soft. Alafu ni na but na kuna hustle sasa. Na kuna hustle sasa and Yo the numbers are good because I started with SEP SEP ni EP ya the previous EP I did niliweka tu na nikasema nauza EP mkitaka kubai mbai alafu nikaacha kuiangalia after some time ndo nikaangalia niko na vile kwa mbaki kupiska mbili leo ndo zile hasa sasa inakuonyesha copies zimebaki so inakuonyesha wasa wamebai eh nikaingia hivi kwa wallet nikasema wa <laughs> uni mimi ini ya ni yangu <laughs> as in as i to draw <laughs> eh so nimekam collect hasul sasa nimekam even though me do ticketing pia eh cuz in pian me kwa experience by na third party ticketing platform yeah so and i like the fact that i can just directly monitor everything that's happening so yeah it's like i'm building a company slowly and that's the thought behind everything i'm slowly building a company i don't know where it's going to end up but yeah i'm just enjoying the process sasa pole kwa philosophy is good <laughs> okay uh, kama kijana ni ngumu kwa sababu no offense or offense i don't know the way it will be taken but it's the truth yeah because minimum sio value kweli industry ko dominated na pioneers yeah which is unfair hadi sahi hadi sahi you ko dominated na pioneers because the people who have made it even the young ones like for example the trio mio i think currently the I don't know, I'm not sure, but currently might be the youngest artist doing it. But you see um he had to shikiliwa mkono and uh, na pioneers. I get. And even all those gangeton groups after they did their own thing, got to a certain level by themselves, pioneers of Hakam waka shikiliwa mkono. Yeah. So I'd rather pioneer akuwe na kampuni ndio kama na na sauti soul them having soul generation means that they have created a space where an artist younger than them can thrive they don't even have to do songs together like see a must you get mviri anaweza do thing yake ben soul anaweza do thing yake na ata grow as mviri and as ben soul you get see at mviri a work hard afike somewhere alafu sasa sauti soul kama sema okay fanya song pamoja haya afa kufanya song pamoja wasema by the unaona manager wetu anaweza kuwa manager wenu pia unaona alafu sasa kuna kuna yani 
Uh, it's, it's a very toxic industry. It's a very toxic industry. There are very many greedy, greedy middlemen. Wengi sana. Like, kuna mzee tu yuko. Yani, hakuna, ato kimuliza, okay, umedu nini, ate ya hezi kuambia, lakini ya najotua na deserve kitu. Unaget? <laughs> Kila mzee tu anataka yake. Hata kama ya juu yake ni nini, ama imetoka hapi. So, kuna mzee wengi sana greedy kwa, kwa industry. Na yondo, naeza sema, inahinda sana young people being relevant. Like the example I've given you, just because I can make a very good song right now, like Bona Radio is a very good song, and it will hardly get airplay. But if an msani haja imba in, amikuwa alikuwa ki imba hizi le enzi, hizi le ogopa DJ hizi enzi, then saya meamua, ah, wacha nirudi, nifanyi hiki tu ya mziki tena, unaget, arudi, for it akwa very easy kupata airplay. And yet, tukiongea honestly hata quality ya music hata tusiangalia ati who's the better artist tuangalia hata quality ya production mean kuna vile nime invest na quality ya production yangu ni better than yake but yet i get airplay i must get airplay i get so zondo vitu na feel as a country or hata before to end about government na hizo cause i feel the government has very little power over artist very little if any very little you get as artists we should not be thinking about getting money from the government at all in my opinion yeah uh, unless it's an it's a legal thing like what happened with you know but like if as an artist it's na feel our say our say how jionangi kama wasani cuz mimi na ona represent kama wasani mimi na ona promote kama wasani mimi na ona our say wote mimi na ona kama wasani una get cuz eh but our na jiona tu kama wagongaji <laughs> ana uh, sana kuita show eh hey, agobiz ana kuita show ana kuna show gani niliitwa show kubwa tu ya maana fulani na kuru kubwa mm, sikupewa pesa nikashangaa sasa hawa watu wote hii sound yote mpaka umeleta msanii kutoka sijui wapi eh hey, normally normally and i feel like normally hapo ndo like unaona tu vile umse anakutumia kwa sababu once you do your thing Yani ni kama hata ho exist hata ku block ama alafu aseme simu sijui ilifanyika nini ama alikuwa busy aje so na feel hata hao in, if they want to earn the money vizuri bila ujanja mingi why do too proper because an event organizer because me because i organize my own events i know how to organize an event and how an event should be organized for my event kuna 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 opening acts each opening act mume kwa ni mpya kitu hata kasi mob na mbaya tu namwambia ni kio medu ni worth something but mimi perform so many shows mini opening act hakuna shit napewa una ah shukran dua kazi fit unaenda far unaenda far bro azandi <laughs> azandi ona na uko hapo njaa una fair una get unatembea mguu yani unaumia tu unaona so i think once your element ya greed itoke cuz me personally i'm very ambitious in in like my dream like i would like to get there but i'm not at the overworking myself but i'd like to get there where i'm doing something and people are seeing what i'm doing and i'm doing it the right way now i say wana wana opt kufanya hivyo pia cuz ndio corruption ni mingi kenya but you know imanishi we ni lazima kuwe corrupt eh imanishi ni ni necessary for we kuwa corrupt ukifanya things the right way zitajipa mtu muona kuna vitu na feel kuna vitu mbobu ndogo ndogo the first one is the major media houses in kenya hardly cover entertainment news which na feel important for example Johnny Isaac ki release bona radio anafa kwa na segment kwa citizen news ya citizen ya ku announce that no, different, ni different ni different because majority of the news that we see in Kenya and that's why politicians are popular is because it's just politics you get exactly ina kama tu vile sports iko njua hata ukiangalia station za majuu kuna kwa na segment ya sports ya weather ya entertainment una get kwa prime time news you get ya yeah, ndikata across ya 7 ya 9 ya hizo ikata across so that because you see the art na feel huku the role ya artist kwa society ko very underplayed until we are necessary alafu na tumika kati shu alafu na kuku kando mpaka ileta jika tena una get kama hii time ya campaign kuna zamu kwa kinambia ma kwa Loret andika ngoma ya Mishra sijui na nani ya nani umpelekee eh. siko like i 
mimi sitaki kutumika hiyo bwana ataka pesa ni mingi aje ile tu dignity <laughs> dignity yangu tu yani haizi nikubali you get so i feel like that's one thing that can be changed more coverage of entertainment because you see we are relying on you guys to cover our entertainment news and you are very pivotal i feel like you are very pivotal to the kenyan artistic scene sijui kwa watu wanaona ama waoni hiyo ni shauri yao but mimi na feel you guys are necessary you get the second thing is um hizo policies of which watu wakotagi but hizo policies <laughs> wakiget kuelewa how necessary they are then cg rojo ni poku jikubali kama as kenyans we make trash music play to your trash music yeah. eh ni yetu jitafika <laughs> point aida kwa trash una get itafika point like kama ingoma ya tumeuona mkono wako bwana nakumbuka the first time nilisikia chini 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 <laughs> the first time nilisikia ngoma nilicheka nilicheka niko like kuni nani nilisikia wedding nani eh nilisikia kwa wedding mahali ya ushaguko nashangaa nani alafu kwenda kwa tafuta youtube naona kuna more than i will gonna views more like 3 plus million views Hey, ndo nikaanza kwa tafuta ni nani so ni ni kwaya best in Tanzania Dar es Salaam wachipi wa mko embrace yani aze watachezwa watachezwa kila mahali una get so hey like kauna feel ni trash when sasa tu hata huko DJ mno waje wacha za tuyo trash kwanza because unaona the same DJ atakwambia ti jumini mimi nimekuwa na notification na DJ ameniambia sisi cheza ngoma zako juni ni slow sana mimi nataka tu to update the same DJ unapata kuna places anacheza ngoma za Adele anaanza ngoma za Sam Smith anaanza ngoma za Ed Sheeran afu ko like okay ngoma yangu ni more upbeat than Ed Sheeran <laughs> si genge tone but ni more upbeat than Ed Sheeran so ni nini una get so nizo to be to like na feel the industry it's at large at a certain is specified to the music industry the entertainment industry if we fail to understand how much we need each other then we might fail to prosper we may fail to grow to back to hapa pali tuko forever and ever and ever amen no no and i think it's an african thing I, i i i would say it's an african thing because you see bana boys is an international act no no uh the savage is an international act so it's all pian is some of the international act you get not because of of nini corruption ama nini juu ya bid unaona so to solve wenyewe hutafuta venye wata get distributed in other countries what if because you see like a company like universal music iko based us they will distribute your music for you regardless of where you come from because like msekai chiran i think at a time alikuwa signed under universal amazon cg one of the two akitoa song wana distribute song hadi kwa stations za Kenya. Una get? Hadi kwa wana make sure songe chira nimechezwa so Kenya. Iko ngi aish. Iko ngi random. Iko ngi random. So the tragedy ni that sisi wenyewe atusaidiani. Una get? E ama utasaidia mseu ki expect kitu. So the na ndo kwa mimi ah man mimi mi na believe in love because <laughs> love ni opposite of that. Na sasa ndo mseju unamsaidia yani naona eh na mimi nimeona wase wengi nimeona kuna wa kigro hata wengine wakanipita wengine wanaendelea wengine hata tuko tuna compete na ni sawa like mimi niko niko happy hivyo cuz tuna grow as an industry when i get exactly so that's the only way mimi feel we can help each other out mm. but yeah i hope it will happen <laughs> sooner rather than later cuz kila kila mwanasiasa mwenye ametoka kwa msanii akifikanga huko ni kama akili na ala sahau struggle za usani yeah. ndo kumana nasema it's not up to the government it's up to that radio presenter that dj that mc that promoter ni me experience first hand personally mseni mtiaji tu juni mtiaji hana reason like kuna place nishaenda recently actually hapa tu Nairobi um okay nilikuwa na open for a certain play very nice play and so i went there and the sound technician alikuwa anakata kuni set up just because asikuwa naelewa like jilikuwa namuuliza 
okay miss si sound technician hapa but niko na idea so mbona tusisaidiane ndo tuifanye haraka kule kapana protocol zui nini zui nini zui nini all he had to do cause tulikuwa tufanye sound check before the bridal team would come wakam kama sound check iko hiti kila kitu kwa sawa all this guy had to do ni kuwasha switch kufanya tu on maze alitusumbua wa alitusumbua ji to permission kwa nani nikaenda kwa nani ndio huyo ah kwa nani nikaenda yani ni collect ju tu anaweza si ati ju kulikuwa na issue ju tu anaweza so tukafanya sound check late yani you know actually you you waiting for the perfect portrayal of the Kenyan music industry na Kenyan entertainment industry ju tulifanya sound check late quality ya sound ikakuwa mbaya tulijaribu tulingana nayo but haikuwa the best vile tulikuwa tuna anticipate na vile tulikuwa tunataka eh ju tulifika mapema tulikuwa ready yani all he had to do on hiyo tu yani ali tuzumbo he had one job <laughs> ali tuzumbo sana Again I'm very young so, but so the, the few people I've interacted with I won't mention names but the few people I've interacted with, some have been friendly uh but the delays no I'm not understanding it's the delays I'm not understanding because you see when you release a song in a in a fakam na hype flani nikitoa ngoma leo um in a faku video na expect ikwe kama nimeongea na nani but anyway it's on my part i think uh, something i'll do better maybe i'll talk to them in advance because yeah. i talked to them on release and expected them to to help me get airplay you know but yeah some of them uh, kuoneleshi some of them you email you text you yani, when i'm rich everywhere pale anapatikana ha respond unaje ni respond useme zi i get they do apana eh useme do apana unaona some of them uh wanataka kitu kidogo ndio waweze kukufikisha hapo pale nataka kufika unaona eh some of them uh, arrogant too the yeah. who are you <laughs> when nani you get eh so i don't know mark time unasema siko nyenda hit <laughs> no but it's not a good mentality to to have but uh just as a joke but but for for sure it's it's not it's not proper it's not proper the kidogo experience ever cuz literally into the first song na release him so they release another song like this so uh, the challenges of experience I'm, I'm i'm questioning a lot about the industry i thought it was ba- bad but now i feel it's worse than i thought especially with uh, cuz I, i did an interview at um turn up and just the fact that i could take a picture with amina and dj joe and we we jammed with like to live with noma to establish a relationship yani una get io too it's very important it's very important for for the growth of the industry it's very important you can have a very cool song it trend on youtube but all the views in a pata but if you're not associated with abcd you know the people who because you know it's like it's like these people who are crying on social media the we have success in being known wanajulikana you get but they've not had mentorship because me I talked to Amina we had a conversation very nice conversation can be industry ko even 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 na feel many many nime grow from that conversation nime grow pia dj joe alikuwa very cool to have a conversation nime grow when i get so my idea as an artist moving forward is that every time i go to these traditional media places because you know them they are being paid to do that work unaona eh hakuna mtu analipa youtube <laughs> i get so na hawa mefanya for way longer hawa kwa na position ya kuniambia ah ukitaka airplay hapa talk to this producer ukitaka hii talk to this talk to this no okay. and those are the stakeholders of the industry to be for being honest at the end of the day all those stakeholders of the whole industry you know so my my idea is as an artist i'll just slowly climb the ladder up to when i can talk to you know the person like when that anyway that's the only way that I know akuna vile naweza jua the owner of uh, your place in itwaje your mnet whatever you 
eh hakuna vile naweza jua hata sizi hata kuna hata nilina shuku nitoka huko bila kujua director wa hiyo show kama sijajua Amina ama sijajua producer wa hiyo show una get yeah and and it goes a long way and if you ukiifika point kama sanii unaachia mtu afanye kazi wewe unafaa kunafanya utaanza ku nini cause i've met big artists who are pushing other artists na artists are jaiko pushed one they are lazy because eh, wanajuana na nani you get two uh, they are just trash yani cause hawajaji hawajaji hawaj grow hawaj grow wanna get so the best enye come for example nikitumia example ya sauti soul hmm? if you're signed under soul generation the best achievement you can make is to make a song that is equal to sauti soul's biggest song you get personally i like that because eh hapo kuna kuna nini kuna get hapo unapata ni msanii alicha kuimba kitambo hapo ati amekuja anataka kumenda kumenda msanii mdogo anampeleka studio anasumbua watu amtengenezee ngoma noma anamtengenezea ngoma yenye anaweza mtengenezea anapea sijui nani anapea sijui nani inasikika kidogo but juicy quality alafu pia msanii mwenyewe roho yake iko hapo una get yeah so i feel like yafatu kila msia play part yake vipoa na, na bila utiaji <laughs> utiaji ni mingi sana kwa industry honestly mimi naweza sema hizo vitu tatu ndo life like hizo ni vitu tatu ndo existence eh love life and identity um cuz i've it's through music ni mejijua to be honest the fact that i'm able to express myself through music some things i had pent up some things i had zikad nimeza ku express through music zimenitoka na nimeza ku deal nazo na get my trauma trauma you get uh, love i believe okay cause again napenda god so nime study study god kidogo na mimi na believe the true love ni love ya god is not that tunadanganya na but true love <laughs> ni love ya god when i get na kama uko na msi mwenye hawezi try kukupenda vile god anakupenda then umse na kuestia time una get juu utapata msi ana try kupenda hivyo hata kujudge hata ku eh azini msi ako very caring very understanding yani trade zote za god umse ako nazo una get na sisemi ati ana ati yeni anakupenda ka god at least ana try nela and then identity yo me personally I've, i base my identity off of my understanding of love because i believe that's the one thing that at the end of everything when the earth dies <laughs> or you know love is what will always remain the bad aspects the good aspects sexual vegani vi- love you get content yes i am i am i am cont- i want more but i am content with what i have like i'm not de- i'm not i used to be desperate to be honest <laughs> Like I got desperate sana juu kwa track proof point at the back of my mind but always I want to ensure how easy like want to try to prove wrong eh so like want to do so many free gigs like want to do yani the most like were very desperate but then when I kafika point nikajijua nikajua meaning I'm of value nikajua worth yangu nikajua value yangu from here point nimekuwa tu yani kena kama ya kama ka ufiki bei ni sawa si bado ni mabishti point uh, it, it's continuous but the pivotal point when it happened time when it happened time when it was huku it was depressed your time kuna fikira ku quit music kabisa um just kuna na future mimi mwenyewe alafu unajua mimi upbringing yangu ya music imekuwa very negative all the criticism nime receive imekuwa negative sijai pata mse mwenye ameniambia you can do it okay ni wachache ni wachache sana compared to eh yeah. hey, literally i think there are five or less than five <laughs> like i can count when i get every other person i've had to prove them wrong when i get and so nilikuwa nimefika point yenye niko exhausted yani na feel like kuna kitu ina work when i get and it's interesting when mention an identity cause you know time nilianza kujijua na nikalanda that everything in existence 
you got three perspectives you got the third party the person who is looking at that thing and giving their opinions based on their interaction with that thing and i get eco ev eco ev eco ev but on any momentary so it's not very accurate it's not a very accurate identity to to base you like msay kwambia uko chini hawezi kubali hiyo because amekusikia mara ngapi una get ndo wajua uko chini eh ama ni nini anasikia exactly una ni comparison ama una get so ni ngumu mimi ni believe msay kiniambia niko chini ni very hard like it's very hard for me to believe that until ani pay like basis like anambi okay from time ulianza even though ulikuwa hivyo when i get like anambi okay in the reason asemo uko chini i justify exactly and then therefore uko chini <laughs> the second one is the uh, internal perspective the, the way we see ourselves like i shared with you me throughout each journey of growth it's very hard for me to notice myself growing so then i can't rely on that like i can't say minim noma ama i can't say missim noma juicy juicy <laughs> you get sijui and and also the fact that mimi nime base unoma wangu on a destination that i've not arrived at yet so as i'm walking this journey maybe kuna msana ona minim noma na hata kama niambie wewe ni mnoma mimi ni like hey najaribu na kwa like ah hata kujifanya humble si najifanya genuinely na feel najaribu like bado sijafika pale nataka kufika but one day nitafika so i can't base again my identity on that so the only thing the only the third and final perspective which i believe is the truth ni perspective ya your creator the person who created you whether you believe in god or you know whatever you believe in whoever you believe created you i feel like that's the person who defines who you are you know and define where you know mama uko chini ama ni wewe unaona na me being a believer of god i god alisema mimi ni mnoma so mimi ni mnoma eh so naenda tu na na my understanding because you know understanding god is also a daily thing uh, so ni kitu mimi na work hard sana okay si work hard like i did passively but i try as much as i can to know more about god because i feel like he acts like a mirror the more i know about him you know i know about the more i know about me cuz me hata ku come up na hii team ya love or join the team on expect in a cell too during valentine but very false you shows zangu za kwa very interactive yani wasio wanapea na pop zao eh tuna discuss mnaonaje ni nini ina kwa fun yani na always basis to ni love tuko tuko hii topic ya love una get eh uh, so yeah um na feel identity is of identity life na love love ina kawa tu kila kitu Aldi ya God love ya God ni akawa kila kitu I correct to have so what happened was I was um I was I was I was depressed <laughs> because vitu was kwa zinaenda and then hiyo time li moved to Nairobi hiyo time tu ya covid ni nini nini go mashinani guns so nilikuwa depressed juu nilikuwa na try na try na try na vitu hazikuwa zinaenda unaona so nikaamua nikasema okay unajua niaje hii mziki acha niachane nayo <laughs> kwanza <laughs> acha tufanye life i love mziki comes well and good it's for comes shauri yake so during that period um uh, dokumana na base of most of the things with with my knowledge of god because during that period unajua kuna vile unajua tu god ka god unamjua tu but kuna understanding flani haiko hata kwa church haiko una get na hiyo ndo time nili get ku experience hiyo understanding when i started to experience your understanding some moment yenye nilijua nilijua nimejijua nilipigiwa simu na eh eh ah ilikuwa fellowship fellowship ya wasetu wenye wanajua god na juu ilikuwa covid huko kwa church una get so kulikuwa na fellowship yenye walikuwa wamefocus actually on the identity identity as, as a christian so during your knowledge ni nini uh, of course change i happening outwardly like mimi siko najua na change siko najua you get so but i remember i received a call the call was from you know Ruben Kigame yeah he i've worked with him before and we worked very well together and at that time in my lowest moment he offered me a job he told me i want you to come and be the director of my school in Eldoret and i turned him down i told him no eh alikuwa 
akashangaa kwa sababu while I was there I was really pushing for that position. So akashangaa. Eh nikamwambia I'm I'm just trying to figure myself out. Then nika hang up. Immediately hang up nikaanza ku regret. <laughs> Jiko like what is this na shit na pesa sina sina vision sina kitu. Eh nilikuwa nika ni hit hard. Nikasema wa you go serious. But nikasema unajua ni aje. It's going to be okay kwa sababu I think ultimately kile nataka ni not to be the person who works for Ruben Kigame. I want to be Ruben Kigame. You get? Like I want to be established like that. Na hiyo moment yani nikasema bas nimejijua hakuna <laughs> msanii anambia kitu sasa nimejijua hata kana struggle dafu dafika kwa ni nini kwa nini nini mzuri ukuja bila struggle so in that moment don't nijua okay this is what i this is who i am my name is Johnny Isaya this is what i represent i want to talk about love because i feel that's the thing that changed me yondo kitu imenipa hope or cause music has been my dream for the longest time and i almost gave up na ni yo yo no le jaka love ndo ilini rudisha na ever since nimekuwa tu yani niki yenu kitu nimekuwa nikishia na wasi nimekuwa ni na ni mwana wasi wa kichange for the good yani eh, na sita jita gospel artist ju misi gospel artist <laughs> misi gospel artist <laughs> eh mimi mzee tu unajua god eh na 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 naimba juu ya vitu zinanifanyikia juu yake When COVID happened I was doing very relatively many teaching gigs in Nairobi. I had gotten very many clients, relatively many clients. And the money was good. And I had only gone to Kwanza do. I had just moved into Nairobi like ndo nilikuwa nimeingia Nairobi your time. Na so nilikuwa ile fees ya kujipanga. Um you know, I want to do this, I want to do this, save money for this, ni nini ni nini. Nishaingia kwa Keja, nishalipa rent na deposit na nizo vitu zote zinalipagwa, ni me get mattress nasema ah pesa inaingia si ndenda get bed ndenda get me ndenda get nini wa wow. hey little did i know but i had i had i had a feeling it will happen cuz unajua covid iko hit kenya ili kitu kingine kwanza ndio kamuko eh na irafika naona watu wana quarantine tunasema isini wa kenya eh ni mzanzuku Yeah, kunde na sikuma <laughs> na kata. So eh hey, man ika hit and then now from period ilianza from period ya cuz I remember actually your day ya curfew, your Friday. Nakumbuka ilikuwa Friday. Ndio na nikumbuka nilikuwa nimetoka class. Alafu nikafika na jogari za sijui kama umeshaiche kila ya gari za nini za udhiru za metro. Buda. Already za kwa long. Hiyo <laughs> day Wow, wow, wow. kwanza nilishukishwa nilikuwa daru ilikuwa fedha. So Mbasa Saba imeshikana na jam. Umse akasema we, hii gari haifiki tao. Ngui kuponye. <laughs> Tukashuka mali katikati. Mimi nikaruda ndia bike na pesa kidogo nilikuwa nayo nikasema waje inhiri nitumie pesa saa hii nifike nipate gari. Wa, kumbe kila mtu alikuwa amefikiria kama mimi. Hiyo line ilikuwa hiyo <laughs> line ilikuwa wa 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 wa. So ah nikasema la anyway hii ni normal una get ni normal like nilikuwa naona tao kuivacate ki, kikiwa empty na pitchitsa 7 ndio nafikuka nilifika tao kitu ka 2 angalia time eh na me time simamia line 5 hao imefika kabla ifike 7 ilikuwa 6:30 hivi nani nani moja wao say wa super metro akakuja na hesabu 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 hapa watu kawa wili mbele yangu akasema hapa paka hapa kuna magari kuendelea hivyo hakuna magari sijui mtafanya nini mwanze kujipanga wa ah tukasema zina wa Kenya bana until tuone hakuna gari ndo tutaanza kupanic so tukabaki tuko hiyo line tupiga line tupiga line tupiga line tupiga line nikafika hapo nimeona gari ndo hii gari naiona watu wanapanda vile hiyo gari ya mwisho watu wamepanda hivi menda so tuna sisi tunategea gari zingine zika tulikuwa tunaona makarao wamesimama wamesimama hapo along ni kwaitwa Jesus nini akaisimama eh isa 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 ingine hapo hapo nyuma ni so hai sela si ama sijui hii nyuma akaisimama hiyo barabara makarao wamesimama hapo na rudisha magari 
unaona gari ndio hii lakini karwa anasema hapana rudi wow 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 wow, wow. Kwa kwa eh si hiyo dendo ilikuwa inaanza ilikuwa inazio day at 7 sasa ni 6:45 naona tu gari zinarudishwa zinarudishwa wow alafu mmoja akapita hapo akasema 7 ikifika tutawapiga vita tutawapiga anza ni kutafuta mabolt mawasili manini manini 7 ikifika tutawapiga mjipange wa 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 tukumeka usha tu just ni wageni eh sasa tuenda hivi sasa tu haya sasa tu haya hiyo ni Kenya kabisa sasa tufanye sasa tu do awe bana unapima imani 650 kafika tukaona sawa wale wa wale wa kupiga watu wameanza kuingia sasa wameanza wameanza kujiposition vizuri nataka kuanza vita so nikapiga nikapiga sisi yangu nikamwambia nitumie namba ya kabu kanitumia namba ya kabu nakumbuka nakumbuka hizi details kwa sababu hiyo day nilisikia uchungu unajua nilikuwa ndo nime move into Nairobi alafu sikuwa na support ya wazazi kwa najitegemea na savings savings kidogo kidogo so pesa ilikuwa man pesa ilikuwa yani bit hii yani uwezi tumia pesa vibaya alafu nilikuwa nime sacrifice a lot yani so nimefika nimepiga amenipea namba ya cab nikamzunguka cab eh, hadi huko nimepesa ngapi nambia 1350 ai nikamwambia boss <laughs> ai hata kama ni kaki bro <laughs> no wali kwa give hata hizi pigagi hata 700 ai boss <laughs> amesema hiyo ndo bei tuende ama ubaki na mimi natoka saa hii wa haya nika nikajaribu kuongelesha wasi tuko kwa lane nao naambia si eh hey, tukapul tuka yani tupande gari tu, tukate ah ta, hao ni wa Kenya wamesema wanakwama eh hey, ju, ju normal chwani yoni ya kuga fair chwani ndio mimi natumia kwenda home wa sasa vile vita inaanza tu hivi na mimi napanda cab na tunaenda watu wakabaki hapo na burugana na makarao nikaenda wazeni nilifika tu kwa nyumba nikasema wa hii ndo covid wa 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 wa, wa. jo 1350 yani ili ni uma oh na ndo kumbuka ndo around your time sana nikaanza kufikiria ni do need to get don't do size ya life ikakuwa bad jun ni kwa like eh 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 hata nashuku ni shape perform is alive moja ikiwa na covid ah lakini tukalipiga kazi na eh sasa vitu vilisonga na shuku ilikuwa na covid cause ilikuwa na so throat show ilikuwa na cam ilikaanza kuona ka so throat ili kwenda potea afu breathing yangu ilikuwa weird na kunywa manina mandimu na manini 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 ayendi ah nikasema eh na, na show ni kesho tuna Mungu si unajua si uko na mimi tupige show tukapiga show na hiyo covid dama sijui ilikuwa homa show ikaweza watu wakaenda mata kuna msa alijua <laughs> eh watu wakaenda but of course hiyo time tulikuwa tuna these are regulations distancing nini 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 tuli make sure at least kila msa yako kwa kuzili kwa inaisha zilianza kutulia ilikuwa after vitu zimeanza kutulia public places zilikuwa open sasa eh, so uh, nikauliza kama hiyo place wako washaanza wa cooperate hiyo soko safi hiyo food court kwa long ingo road kasema iko fiti so tukaishia tuka ongea na management ilikuwa poa ilikuwa poa ni change tu ni hard work usi rely on talent yako talent yako ni hata haiko <laughs> talent yako haiko um uh, no juni kweli mi mi nime bro mi akwambia ni muona vitu huko nje kadogo hiyo ya kwanza hiyo yenye ume alafu unajua ni interact na wasanii wengine wanategemea talanta wamekuwa signed hadi wame yani wame get opportunities but hazijawasaidia kwa sababu hawajaelewa value ya hard work We ni powerhouse ukiwa na combination ya talent na hard work. Mi personally ni hard worker, mimi sitakudanganya. Mi just work hard. Story ya talent tajulio kwa mbele, but mimi na jadu mimi work hard. Mi niko same WhatsApp group na kina Willy Pose, kina eh una get. Eh tutaw criticize kusema vile music yao ni trash, but kweli ni uko na fan base, wana make money, ni nini, nini na wana songa. Una get. So mimi niko kwa hiyo group ya hard work, tupige tu kazi, tupige tu kazi. But sasa pia ikwe 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 ujijue tu pia ujijua ujua kia una try ku push you know as much as una work hard usi work hard towards everything and anything 
unaona by the ulianza ukiimba gospel kidogo kidogo sasa unaimba secular unashangaa nikipata aje hapa after na sababu unataka kurudi gospel juu unaona huku pesa ni kama imeanza ku eh huku jinda ni mimi acha nirudi huku gospel I get eh so um, kuwa na philosophy zako as an artist jijue jijue like kujue indo agenda mimi nataka ku push ndio kitu mimi nataka kuambia wasi iko so well defined in any setting any song you write any person you interact with at a collab or feature oh my stick to kwa agenda yako una get hata kama ngoma inaongelea huko na wewe agenda yako ni hii una kama pamoja wewe na do yako na do yake na ya kwa blend noma yani focus tu kwa agenda yako alafu understand the business side of music because it's very it's very hard it's a very hard challenging wase ufikiria just because wewe ni msanii noma ama just because you work hard pesa itakuja itakuja baada itakuja vile unataka because unajua music by music ni dynamic you change you change sana so eh uh, your vision board lazima ni kitu una revisit every single day every single day una revisit una revisit una revisit mm. every single day au silale na kuna kitu una iwaki na maanisha maybe exactly different na songs zote exactly eh tingine eh na ndoko maana na take pride kwa hii project cuz hii project nime experiment sana nime do a lot of different sounds uh, within the EP vile mnacho kuna dancehall kuna chakacha kuna seven kidogo kuna yani kuna sounds mingi sana una always in boxing from hii EP but i'm sure kila song ni noma <laughs> okay ranking uh, actually zote nilizia kwa hiyo SEP ziko hapo kwa soundcloud ziko ziko kwa spotify ziko kila mahali ukizitafuta ziko songs uh is it like public 5 public 5 plus i think like 8 8ish hivi mm. so kuna nianze from the eh, lakini <coughs> waje ubaji hiyo project ilikuwa na features so naweza sema hilo ni kwa chini la au msemo yani na kwa but nakumbuka every song nimeandika mimi si as an artist Missy wale wako ati oh write every day to get better I, I do write every day but not to get better just to express myself if a song comes out of that well and good if it doesn't be any sound um but uh a lot of the songs i have produced majority of them have come na ifuata uta notice ni raps because ni lazima kama hip hop artist eh uh, kina ye ye kina um, uh, step it up kina <laughs> kina mini mnoma hadi na zarap ni kicheza guitar kwa hiyo nimefika na zarap hadi nikicheza guitar eh um nime do rap small nime do rap small sana um chacha zimeona light of devil umesema zingine ziko tu kwa simu ju hip hop nasema rap ndo the easiest thing for me na vile ni mention alia napenda vitu challenging. Hiyo ndio reason ni opt to learn kuimba. Napenda vitu challenging. Mimi ni mnoma sana ku rap. Hata hiyo hata kuna mtu anaweza ni atuwezi debate. Hata atuwezi ongea ni kweli. Flow tu ama tu vile kila content, flow, kila kitu. I'm so good that majority of the audience and I think hata ndio ile ni fanya niache ku rap for some time. Wasi wengi walikuwa wanasema ni kwetu rap. So, my name is Johnny Isaiah. A uh, song about singing is called Koinange. It's a song about basically the story of the prodigal son. Alipoitisha mali yake, aende explore the world. That was me. <laughs> Na usani. So this is Koinange. Tamani nitembe kule koina ye kwa ninaskia kule kuna raha tele na tamani nitembe kule koina ye na nikifika kule nijione
kwenda kwingi ndo kujua mengi ndivyo nilifunza shuleni mama pia akanifunza lakini nahisi kama ulimwangu watanipa maarifa ya ziada na ni hivyo ninasema uh. natamani nitende kule koina ye kwa ninasikia kule kuna raha tele natamani nitende kule koina ye na nikifika kule nijioni Walisema sisi bado wachanga ila hawakukumbuka tumeishi social media kwa hivyo yawezekana twajua mengi kuwashinda tumetamba dunia nzima kwa hivyo elewa tukipuuza mawaidha twatamani tutende kule koinange kwa nitwafikia kule kuna raha tele twatamani tutembe kule koina ye na tukifika kule tujione